Hi. Today's topic is, uh, well, if nothing else, an interesting one. But our, our goal uh, in, in this video is to uh, provide you with some information so that you can talk with your kids, uh, especially older teenage children, um, about their use of uh, their cell phones and uh, an important thing that they just simply need to understand because it can result in um, uh, a criminal problem for them. And uh, this stems from the very recently uh, decided Supreme Court of Washington case, State of Washington versus Eric Gray. Eric was uh, 17 years old and he sent an unsolicited picture via text of his penis to a woman. Uh, it was a woman that had been acquainted with the family and he found her number in his mom's records. Um, Eric uh, is high functioning autism and uh, uh, probably wasn't making the best decision um, and uh, you know d decided to, uh, to, to, to do what he did. The woman reported Eric to the police and he was arrested. Um, where this gets interesting is uh, that Eric appealed and said, wait a minute, the statute that prohibits disseminating images of minors in a sexually uh, provocative manner is one that doesn't apply to me because I, I am a minor and I'm not furthering child pornography here. This is just something that I as an individual did. Um, and the Supreme Court disagreed. Um, what they said, uh, well, first I, I wanna read you what the statute says and, and in relevant part, the statute says a person commits the crime of dealing in depictions of a minor engaged in sexually explicit conduct in the second degree when he or she knowingly develops, publishes, or disseminates any visual or printed matter that depicts a minor engaged in an act of sexually explicit conduct. Sexually explicit conduct is defined as a depiction of the genitals or unclothed pubic or rectal areas of any minor uh, for the purposes of sexual stimulation of the viewer. Uh, what the court uh, concluded is, is that the legislature intended to destroy the blight of child pornography everywhere, from production of the images to commercial gain. As Gray notes, the state has a compelling interest in protecting children from those who would sexually exploit them. However, this interest extends to stamping out the vice of child pornography at all levels in the distribution chain. This includes at its inception. If the legislature had intended to exclude children, it could do so by amending the statute. Because the statute was intended to curtail production of child pornography at all levels, the statute, pro the statute prohibits Gray's actions. In other words, um, if you have minor children and they are in the uh, 13, 14 to 17.99 age group, they can be criminally convicted if they are taking photographs of themselves, um, you know, in, as Mr. Gray did, and sending them even to another minor, their boyfriend, their girlfriend. Um, and I don't obviously want to get into the moral judgment of whether they should or what is appropriate. My point is, is that I would certainly talk to my children and let them know that they cannot be sending these things over the telephone because it is a criminal act. And it is a criminal act that if things go wrong, they can be convicted of. They would also then be deemed a, uh, a sexual predator, um, which is you know going to have very detrimental effects on their lives. So. Uh, this is a topic of some importance. I hope this video helped you out in learning more about it and uh, helps you to take, uh, you know, whatever steps you deem appropriate with your own children. Thanks so much.